The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is the biggest overhaul to Samsung's idea of a phone that folds out into a mini tablet as this new edition now comes in a wider body and also for the first time has a wider cover screen that allows you to actually comfortably use the phone even without unfolding it. Compare this to previous generations of the Fold series that comes with a narrower body and a cover screen with a widely narrow aspect ratio that made typing on it almost impossible and you will truly appreciate this difference that might seem small at first. The Fold 4 also comes with one of the best Snapdragon processors in recent years, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Zen 1 which gives it a welcome boost in performance and on top of that it upgrades the camera system with a more capable main camera and a 3x telephoto lens that enables 30x digital zoom. And in a few important software tweaks like a PC-like fixed taskbar that allow you to multitask better than on any other phone and this is certainly the most mature edition of this type of foldable. But is that enough of a reason to upgrade? Naysayers will quickly point out that the battery size and charging speeds remain the same and the overall experience has not really changed drastically. Let's take a closer look and find out. While the Fold 4 and Fold 3 may look similar from afar, turn on the screen and you will notice the differences. The cover screen is wider, a huge improvement from the narrow screen Samsung used before that made typing super hard and even apps looked weird on it. Of course, this change affects the main screen as well. It's still technically a 7.6 inch one, same diagonal measurement as before, but it's more squarish looking and the actual viewing area is bigger because of that. For reading books or browsing the web, this is just perfect. While for watching videos, you will notice a bit more of those black bars around the video. But overall, we think this is big improvement from before. The new Fold 4 is also a bit less thick and weighs a bit less. The difference is hardly noticeable unless you actually measure it. But it is a little thing that shows Samsung's commitment to perfecting every detail, which we appreciate. Other things to note are the IPX8 water resistance rating, the same one as last year. Keep in mind that the Fold 4 and Fold 3 are both water resistant but not resistant to dust which remains the biggest danger to the folding phones. So if you go out in the wild or work in a dusty environment, you should keep that in mind. Also, the new under display camera, it's still not quite invisible, but it's far less noticeable than before. Image quality also appears to be better, but more on that below. One inconvenience remains too, it's still almost impossible to unfold the phone with just one hand. You need to use both hands and this can be annoying when you need to unfold the device in a hurry. In terms of biometrics, nothing has changed. You still have the fingerprint scanner embedded in the power button on the side. That worked great on the Fold 3, works great on the Fold 4 as well. Considering the premium price, we are happy to see that Samsung made zero compromises with the components of Fold 4. All buyers, regardless of their country, will get the latest and most powerful Snapdragon 8 Plus Zen 1 processor on the new fold. This is great news for those who live in the UK and Europe where Samsung S-series flagships usually get the less powerful Exynos processor. Compared to the Fold 3 which runs on the Snapdragon 888 chip, it's not a huge jump in performance but a welcome boost nonetheless. Both the Fold 4 and Fold 3 come with 12GB of fast LPDDR5 RAM of all models. Even the base model has 256GB UFS 3.1 storage, which is definitely plentiful. 
the Fold 4 is also available with 512 GB and you also have a 1 terabyte model. A fast for a Samsung foldable. Neither of the two folds supports micro SD cards in case you are wondering. The Z Fold 4 comes with new Android 12L on the board and one UI 4.1.1 on top of that. Samsung has taken a commitment to deliver four major software updates to most of its devices and five years of security updates to both the Fold 4 and Fold 3. But of course, the Fold 4 will end up getting one more update because it's a newer release. The coolest new software feature has got to be the fixed taskbar, which like what you have on a traditional PC. This makes a big difference to multitasking and we'd argue the wider screen has helps the actually usable size of apps. From the back, the Fold 4 is hard to tell apart from the previous generation as both use the same pill-shaped triple camera. The new edition Fold has a larger 50 megapixel sensor for the main camera compared to the 12 megapixel on one used on the previous model and this should help with both detail and low light performance. Additionally, you get a 3x telephoto lens and upgrade from the 2x zoom used before. This translates into up to 30x digital zoom versus 20x you used to get on the previous model. As usual, too, it's not all about the hardware and it is the software algorithms that keep on improving and that will get you better photos and videos in real life. As you can see, the Fold 4 now comes with a main camera with a wider lens and photos turns out less contrasty and with more pleasing software detail. The processing with the ultra wide camera has also evolved and you can notice the improved dynamic range as the highlights are not burned out on the newer Fold 4. The Fold 4 also captures much cleaner zoomed shots thanks to the new 3x telephoto camera. The Fold 4 can zoom digitally up to 30x while the Fold 3 maxes out at 10x digital zoom and the difference is quite striking at 10x. Both phones do a great job separating the subject from the background in portrait mode but the color science of the Fold 4 is improved and you can see the true color of greenery in the first shot. Having 3x zoom allows you to capture close-up portraits while the previous gen Fold captures 2x portrait photos. The Fold 4 also has two selfie cameras which is the same approach as the previous generation. You have a traditional punch hole camera on the cover screen, while the big screen actually has one of those newer cameras that are hidden under the screen. On the last year Flip 3 model, the area around that under display appeared pixelized and it kind of ruined the effect a bit. This newer edition hides the under screen camera better, but still not totally invisible. The front camera located on the cover screen that you will probably use for the most selfies has gotten a bit wider which is useful for group sh shots. The undercover camera is a major downgrade in quality over the traditional camera on the smaller cover screen even if it has improved slightly from the previous generation. When it comes to video quality, the Fold 4 brings a wider field of view from the main camera but otherwise colors and detail are similarly good during the day. The bigger difference comes when you zoom in 3x or further where footage from the Fold 4 appears far better stabilized and is a big upgrade over the pre predecessor. Curious about under display camera and what's the quality it produces when recording videos? Well, it might have improved a teeny bit, but honestly, you should just use the regular camera on the cover screen. The under display captures only 1080p video and detail is lacking. It looks like a recording out of a smartphone released 10 or 20 years ago, while the regular camera on the cover screen captures 4K video and looks way sharper.